Hi everybody, in today's Road to the Show, I'm going to play at a stadium that I don't think I've yet played at in Road to the Show. It's Tropicana Field down in Tampa, Florida, and we're taking on the Rays. The Rays are, I believe, a last place team in this season of Road to the Show. The Blue Jays, on the other hand, are like 46-11 and 11 or something crazy like that, with a 13-game lead over the Baltimore Orioles, who are in second place. So, first at bat here, two guys on base with nobody out. And let's see if I can change that. Oh, didn't get a home run. Couldn't get it in the air, but I might get an RBI still. Yeah, they're going to send him, and he's going to be in there. So, one nothing Blue Jays. All right, I think there's a common perception around the league that Tropicana Field is a complete dump, and the fans don't like going there. But when I went to Tropicana Field for four games... In 2014 I kind of liked it it was pretty cool I mean it's not the greatest stadium or anything but there I think I just made an error I don't know if that's gonna be an error or not but it was right under my glove I liked my time there I saw the Astros there and then I stuck around for the next series when the Pirates came in, into town I think this was like June 2014 had really good success there when I went in terms of snagging baseballs. I think I got 30 over the four games, including the, one of the games I had 10 for sure, double digits. There's a home run, by the way. One of the quirky things about Tropicana Field, besides it being a dome with a white roof, and I, I remember I had some trouble tracking the ball at first. One of the quirks is the ushers are equipped with whistles and they blow the whistles whenever there's a home run coming your, in your direction. So if you're standing in, say, like left center field, if there's a home run coming, you start hearing all this tweeting, and it's not Twitter. It's these ushers, these old ushers that are like 80 years old with beards, just tooting away on their whistles. So that's kind of weird. I mean, at least it keeps everybody, you know, focused on what's going on. I guess it's it's kind of like a safety issue. It definitely does take longer to find the ball against that backdrop. And what is going on here? It's going slow-mo. See if I can make a diving play here. It's a nice diving play. Let's see if I can make the throw. Hey, I got a trophy, so I, I guess that's good. Some sort of digital trophy. Complete the play there. 23 training points for the nice diving play. I think that's the first diving catch I've ever made in the infield. And this game is a complete blowout, by the way, if you've looked at the scoreboard. The Blue Jays are just getting pummeled here by the Rays. Let's see if I can pad my stats a little bit. That one's way out of here. No doubt about that one. That might be up, up over that little crosswalk there. And get a couple RBIs. But anyway, talking about Tropicana Field. Another thing about Tropicana Field, when you go for batting practice, this is a must. You have to have the front row of left field or right field because otherwise you're not allowed to be in that row unless you have a ticket for that row. Now, I can't remember what the row is off the top of my head. Um, I don't know if it was like row E or F or something like that. It's not A, but make sure you get a ticket there because when you go for batting practice, especially for like the first, I don't know, half an hour or 15 minutes, whatever it is, you might be the only person there and it's a lot easier to get balls thrown to you if you're the only person in the front row than if you're stuck in the back because that's a nice shot of uh, downtown Tampa, by the way. If you're stuck like two rows back, three rows back, those get crowded. I mean, you don't have a lot of range. Um, if you don't have a front row ticket, the best thing to do, I would suggest is go maybe like, I can't remember what it is, like six, seven rows back. So you're above the uh, the tunnels because otherwise you, you don't have much range because once you go to your left or right, you can only go one section before you run into a tunnel. So go like six rows back and you can run around all over the place for the deep home runs. Speaking of deep home runs, that one's way out there. And that's going to go out there onto the bar. Forget the name of it. It's a bar. Um, Jack Daniels bar maybe, something like that. But there is a gap all the way around that bar. It's maybe only like a foot or so. But there's definitely baseballs down there. I want to say my first day there or second day there or something like that. I pulled like three balls out of that gap with what I, I used to use the glove trick back in the day. I mean, the glove trick just barely fit down there. 
Now I would use the claw. I think that would probably be a lot more efficient for the narrow space. But balls go down there. They get trapped there during batting practice. Most people don't even know about it unless you're a ball hawk. So if you do have a ball retriever, when I was there, you could just go right out onto the deck. And actually, the uh, the usher and security, they thought it was awesome. They were, like, cheering me on to get these balls. Other stadiums, if they saw you lowering a glove, even, like, in an out-of-play area like that, they would just flip out. So the ushers were really nice there. There's another home run, by the way, up onto the batter's eye. There's like a little walkway restaurant behind there. It's pretty nice. I, I would really like to hit one into the raised tank, but I haven't been able to do that yet. Now, my first time at Tropicana Field was in 2013, and I didn't see a game there. I was with my wife and Olivia. She was only like maybe two years old or something like two and a half years old. And we were down there for spring training. And we figured, why don't we just go look at Tropicana Field, drive by it, see what it looks like. Well, we drove past and we just like kind of parked and started walking around the stadium. And the stadium was wide open, like the actual stadium, like the field. So we actually walked right into Tropicana Field and we walked right in on the field. And what had happened was there was some sort of like gymnastics competition that they were using the field. And so it was kind of like a public event and it was kind of like the end of it. So a lot of people had already left, but there was still some people around. So we were able to, to walk all over Tropicana field, like the actual turf. And that was just awesome. I was able to go up against the wall and kind of like measure it up. Olivia was able to run around on the turf. So I can't really find the pictures. They're on, they're on some like hard drive somewhere. I would say we probably have tens of thousands of pictures from, uh, my wife loves to take pictures. So we just have tons of pictures and they are, I don't think they're really organized that well. We just take them off our phones and then we just dump them onto a hard drive. She always keeps the best ones and she emails them out. So I guess you could probably type in like the date and find some pictures from a specific year, but I would like to put them in the video, but I just didn't have really the time to look for them this weekend. Well, this is ending up being a blowout the other way. It's 10 to, what was that, 3. Here we could turn a double play right at your face. My arm strength is not that good in this game. I really put a lot of training points on arm accuracy, but not arm strength. And that's the end of that game. So that was actually game number 3 of the series because they benched me for game 1. We got crushed game two, won game three. Now here we are in game number four. This was a four game series. It's a Thursday through Sunday series. So this is the day game and that one's way out of here. Goodbye. Let's see if that gets up onto the, oh, that went down in the tunnel, I think. There's some steps that go down to a lower concourse that has like, I think there's like food options down there and stuff. That one would be, would be bouncing around down there underneath time to make a play here they got two guys on base anyway if you're wondering if I'm gonna be at Tropicana Field soon the answer is probably not I've made my entire master schedule for the entire 2017 season and there's just no dates that I have any plans to go to Florida this year at least right now I mean that could always change look at that that's Clearwater Beach it's only a short drive from Tampa that's just beautiful I love going to spring training down there Kind of sad that I can't go this year um, just because the the doctor told us no Florida just because there's a .001 chance you could get Zika and my wife is pregnant. So, I mean, it opened the door for, for me to go to Arizona soon. By the way, I, I might start packing maybe tonight or tomorrow. I only have a few days to get ready and it seems like whenever I take a trip, I am literally packing minutes before I have to leave and I just grab a whole bunch of like shirts, grab some shorts, underwear, socks, throw it in a big suitcase and boom, I'm out the door. I'd actually like to take a little time. I'm going to need 15 hats because there's 15 teams in Arizona and I have not, I'm going for a triple here by the way. And what the heck? I mean, the guy in the left field dove for the ball. It got past him, rolled the whole way to the wall. And how do I not get a triple on that? 
I guess the uh, lead runner held up seeing to see if it was going to get caught. But anyway, yeah, I need 15 hats for all the teams. I need 15 shirts. I'll probably need like three pairs of shorts. I'm only going to be there for the weekend. I'm going to go for a weekend and then come back on Monday, take a personal day from work on Monday. So I'm not going to see that many games, but I haven't decided what games I want to go to yet. I mean, there's 10 stadiums that I can see. There's 15 teams, but only 10 stadiums because a lot of teams share fields. Like, for example, the Reds and the Indians share, what is it, Goodyear Park. Um, so one stadium that I think I definitely want to go to is Tempe Diablo Stadium. It's the home of the Angels. I just kind of feel like that would be a cool stadium during the game. I think at least one of the games I want to stay outside and go for foul balls. And it looked like that might be the easiest stadium or the smallest stadium where the ball could get out onto the street off the bat of a right-handed batter. There's another home run, by the way. If anyone has any suggestions for stadiums that I need to go to or that are super easy to get baseballs, because I don't want to go out on this trip and then struggle to even get one or two balls a game, because that's happened before. Like when I went to Champion Stadium in Florida, man, I struggled to get a ball there. Ended up getting like two, but anyway, that's the end of this series. You saw that we won by a large margin, and I'm just checking out the standings real quick. You got the Mariners leading the West, Tigers leading the Central, Blue Jays in the East. While the Nationals are in last place in the NL East in 2017, Mets are leading the way. In the NL Central, you got the Pirates with the Cubs actually slipping to second. That would be a surprise if that happened in real life. And the Giants and Dodgers again fighting it out in the West. That's probably what's going to happen. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow.